What's up, guys? This is BA here. Welcome to the channel. Yep, it's it's Monday, and there's a bunch of stuff going on. You know, Pokemon, Magic. You know, sports cards, and yeah, it, it's it's crazy. And I'm here to talk about. Um, I think a lot of people have been posting it. You know, you see it in marketplace, but the people that goes to Walmart and like buys literally the entire shelf the entire stock and yeah i mean who knows what they're gonna do with it um i mean i think they call themselves like you know the scalpers um there's so much things to talk about you know that area but you know one thing is like i hope like they these people like realize how how hard it is to to sell, you know, if they want to flip it, you know. I understand if they want a quick buck, flip it, you know. Like I get that part, but like buying, you know, buying like boxes of these, what is that? The the Jirachi or something like that. Um like spending thousands of dollars and like what? Okay, so you spend I don't know how much is is that going for like you spend twenty dollars you you sell it for like forty five fifty you know you spend the shipping after everything you know <clears throat> you gain like what twenty bucks right and you know I hope they realize how much risk they're gonna you know like they're entering and in, in doing that spending you know that's a thousand dollars gone and then the risk that you're gonna that they're gonna have like selling it posting it online i mean you guys know this you see the conto boxes the hidden fates tins the the etb champions path the evol it's crazy it's like people like honestly if you go to marketplace right now uh facebook marketplace you'll see a lot of people and then I think I saw some that like there's so much desperate in like selling the the Champions Path ECB for like I don't know 60 65 cuz that's like I said tied you're tying in your money and then the risk is so high because one you got to find the seller two the risk of you know the your item not getting shipped or you know you getting scammed it's crazy you know like I don't know if these people are knows the risk so that's that's that side of things you know like i hope they they have a plan or you know they're trying to sell this in the store or like you know it's it's so much risk i hope they they realize all this this kind of stuff before doing that um and another thing is the if if people are buying these like say a uh, perfect example is the champions path ecbs right so they spend 50 bucks and they want to open them so they buy they buy 10 ecbs right 50 bucks so that's 500 dollars um champions path is actually one of the products that's like it's worth it you know even if you open them so you buy 10 you have 10 promo charizards right regardless of you know super clean there's a ding on them you know like if if you're gonna have you spend five hundred dollars you spend money to grade those 10 and then you know maybe 30 20 20 percent or even 50 percent of that comes back at 10 then you get your your money back you know and that's not counting the packs that you're gonna open you know who knows you open one two or even even one shiny charizard it's like what 400 raw i mean have that graded you know you get a psa 9 10 you're looking at 800 to a thousand dollar card you know um and that's just one example you know like you gotta if you're gonna do this you gotta learn and know your tactics on how you're gonna earn your money money back and i feel like as far as champions path um that product is like worth like buying you know and then 
opening the product, you know, um, because the especially the ETBs because you get you get a lot. It's like it's loaded, you know, even the sleeves. So, yeah. So as far as uh, champions ETBs, uh, the console boxes, the um, what else? The the Jirachi, the the hidden fates. Like honestly, with me, I would you know if I would spend twenty bucks the tins for the champions pass, I would just open them. You know, you get the the shiny or even even the promo. It's like what five dollars. You know, have that graded. Just have it in your collection. But you know, it's just um. The, the the Jirachi and the the evolution, okay. If you want to resell it, you know it's it's much harder because like you have to find the seller and you have to spend this money shipping him, and the risk is so high. Then like opening these products and yes, you know if if you're gonna be that person, then you know it's much better because if you open that card, you know the Charizard evolution have that graded. Or just keep it in your collection you know it's the the risk is much lesser because you, you you know the the card will mature over time and it will go up you know not to mention have that graded you know you, you'll get your money back like eventually but you know as far as like uh, the flippers uh, it's it's so hard you know it's I know it's it sucks because like the the amount of people that wants to open the product it's like you know they don't have anything because the flippers that wants to you know like gain 10 20 dollars per box is like buying all of them and i mean hey it's their gig you know if if they want to do that i mean i know it sucks for the people that want to open the product but it is what it is, you know. Pokemon right now is it's just ridiculous. Luckily Magic is isn't like that, you know. Oof. Because I mean it's not it's not like a, a very highly collectible. I mean it is, but it's more of a, a gameplay, which you know I talk about it in you know a couple of my videos. But but yeah, so one side, you know, flippers, high risk, man, high risk, very high risk. And if you're gonna do that, you find you found like you know good boxes for good deal. You know the dub wolves. You know twenty bucks. You know hidden fates. Honestly, I would just open them. You know I would just open them. You know like you. It's like it's like take, taking a gamble. You know and you get lucky because the the um the card. If you pull it, then you know boom, you get your money back and even more. You know, I've seen a lot of posts that, you know, oh, yeah, I opened like a double box and I opened the, the shiny or the, the secret rare or something like that. So that's my thoughts on in this um, this whole like everyone posting, like loading their trunk with like, the Jirachi boxes. I mean, that's their gig, man. You know, I mean, it's just it's just sucks for for all the people that wants to open and enjoy the, the product. You know, they just the hunt you know it's the hunt for for the good cards you know them opening the the packs uh, i recently just read a, a post of like he opened a bazillion etbs you know pins champions etb and stuff like that um but you know he realized that he can just spend the money all of that getting the the two charizards and he actually preferred or liked the fact that he personally opened the card himself rather than buying it from someone else so that that that's a true collector right there man that's like the hunt for real and you know like i said these flippers and scalpers as they call them you know i mean i don't want to say let them have it but hey they're taking all that risk and i don't want to say don't buy from them but if you want to open the product I would just wait. I would just wait, you know, because like they're they're taking the risk and they want to gain this ten twenty dollar profit off of the product. And you know who knows? I mean, it's it's so hard um, for for the local game store because like like 
it's they're they're losing a lot of customers because they're buying it from 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 these flippers and scalpers and i mean i don't blame them if they want to open a product but honestly I'll, I'll just wait because if if you keep if we keep buying from them then they won't stop man they won't stop doing it you know and these 7 a.m's at walmart target and you know it, it's crazy like wiping out the shelf leaving nothing for for anyone you know and i know some some folks are like very divided and you know they want to like if they come into like agreement hey you know you get two you know if there's a group that's that's perfect you know that's perfect but if you want you know if you're gonna be that one person man wiping out spending thousands of dollars just <laughs> hey you know more power to to them man you know they, they're taking all that risk and wasting all that money there's so much things to you know to look for like for myself i i i bought like a collection you know and i feel like you know i've taken i'm taking that risk but the cars that i got and the amount that i uh, i paid i think it's worth my time you know it's not like i'm gonna flip them right away you know there's a couple cards you know like lugia the gold star you know the base set trio um a lot of japanese misprints and there's so much stuff and for the amount i paid it's it's ridiculous you know and i would pay that much that side than like buying freaking 50 100 jirachi boxes you know it's crazy so i don't know what your thoughts are um again thank you guys for watching uh the videos thank you guys for tuning in and all the new subscribers i think we're up to like 560 now it's crazy I can't imagine 560 of you, of you guys are like watching, right? But yeah, if um, if you like this kind of content, um, I know it's it's all talk, but you know after the you know when more releases comes, you know I'll be doing some openings because everyone's doing it. You know I don't know like people want to do that, but yeah. So if you guys have any questions and you want me to you know talk about, you know there's a lot of people messaging me. Uh, thank you guys. Um, yeah, so. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video. Peace.